I've seen a lot of ships get blown up. It's no big deal. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't get under my skin either. Not the way Seth Green gets under my skin. Huh? Yeah, boy, that guy rubs me the wrong way. I mean, has he ever made anything successful? Greg the Bunny, Four Kings, and that god-awful puppet show. It's on, like, Channel 100 or something. Well, I think he's had some successes. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was popular. It was not popular. Entertainment Weekly said it was popular, but it wasn't. Hardly anybody ever watched that show. Yeah, I never caught it. Well, he's been in some big movies. The Austin Powers movies grossed like a billion dollars. Oh, what, because of Seth Green? Did you ever hear anyone say, hey, let's go see that new Austin Powers, Seth Green's in it? You're not getting to me, man. You're talking about an actor who I happen to enjoy. Well, I certainly enjoyed him in Entourage, because in that show he was playing himself. An asshole. Oh, sorry. This is my joke lightsaber. It's cute, right? Okay, for real now. Give yourself to the dark side, Luke. I will not fight you. Well, all right. I guess that's no problem. I can always get Seth Green to fight me. He'll do anything for money. I mean, did you see Sex Drive? Oh, of course you didn't. You're a person. Of course, I guess it did respectable foreign numbers. Asians really liked it. And you gotta hand it to Seth Green. I mean, he works hard, you know? I mean, the work is much harder when you know the project is no good. Still, all those small paychecks must add up. I wonder if his fan base knows how Jewish he really is. Yeah! You can all call me crazy. Because I thought I belonged in a tree. I was so nutty, you see. Then I sat down and considered the state of the world. The horrible things some unawakened humans can do. And how I simply refuse to think I'm better than anyone. I do want better for all of you, though. And some would call me gay for that. And they would be right. Not only have I taken it up the ass and liked it, I also know that gay was a word once used for exceedingly happy things and people. So yes, I'm as gay as black cock is hard and long. Doctors have told me I'm autistic, which is a form of mental retardation. So I know I'm technically retarded. This is why anytime something wondrous happened, I just think myself crazy, or simply dismiss the miracle before me. I ignored the things I knew for no reason. I ignored the fact that my videos seemed to write and edit themselves. I especially ignored the fact that I'm in a trance while recording this. I refused to believe that I was a vessel through which the force works. After all, that would mean my only part is having the intention to do these things. I think it, and it happens. Although, I must be retarded if I do not consider myself lucky for it being that way. Now that you know my credentials, keep those in mind as I discuss some simple but fucked up oddities that we're all collectively ignoring. I'm not better than any of you for noticing this stranger than Circle K-ish. I'm just the one who was lucky enough to have the time to figure all this out. Being a lonely retard who was once arrested for having a mental breakdown gives you plenty of spare time. And it's that good quality me time too. The kind that either makes you a mass shooter or something else entirely. When Star Wars causes the most division and friction this side of the Trump presidency, then you know the Force's balance is all kinds of fucked up. Go home, Force! You're so fucking pissed that you've pissed off the world. Uh, I'm sorry, guy. It's not your fault. It's just easier to blame you and not ourselves. I know that every time I lashed out in hate, every time I lost control and became something I was ashamed to be, I fed the dark side of the force and made it even stronger. The dark side may seem like a sweet gig, 
but soon you'll find your asshole bleeding and realize you didn't even get a reach around for your troubles. Yes, it's true. And I find it just as daunting as you all do. But also, I'm thankful to finally know the truth. It gives me greater cause to work on myself. After all, I always dreamed of being a Jedi. I'm pretty sure we all did. Sometime long ago, in a galaxy not so far away. The Force does not judge us by our words or by our actions. Not even our thoughts. It judges us based on our intentions. Anyone can make a mistake. But what were you trying to do when you made that mistake? Were you trying to do the right thing? Were you trying to be a Jedi? Then forgive yourself. And simply keep doing you, baby! After all, trying is forbidden in this bitch. This is not satire. This is not an allegory. This is my truth. And you can deny it. But the only thing binding all other religions together is a common belief. Some Christians think Christ will come back. His force ghost told me they're scared children longing to be rescued from school. He said it's not fucking happening. So stop asking. His words, not mine. Miracles exist. The force exists. You can will things into this world. But when the force is so corrupted, well, things will not work out the way they should, which is why something must be done. I know we all thought we'd be kicking ass with lightsabers. The thing is, they're an excellent meditation tool, but you really have no need for weapons of any kind. Once you have mastered the Force, a lightsaber becomes just as inelegant as a blaster. If hate feeds the dark side, then love will surely feed the light. Love's one issue is it's so powerful, it's so mighty and consuming, that if you're weak and whiny like Anakin, it can lead to your downfall and even to the dark side. But if you're strong and courageous like Rey, then you can truly master the power of love. I know some people will hate that I just gave props to Rey, but you know what? I fucking hated Rey. I was one of those Star Wars fans. Then I realized I had let the Emperor win. I could judge the new films by their shortcomings, but we all know there's more to a Jedi than their short stature. Rey represents all of us who looked up to Luke and Leia, dreaming of being like them. Rey also represents the desire in Luke and Leia for the next generation to be more than they were. They care not about being the best, care most about doing the best, indeed they do. I could be whiny like Anakin and lament the fact that the movie in my head never got made. But I would rather just love the one that was made. The only other option is a path to the dark side. I have fallen to the dark side many times, but I finally know who and what I am. I shall listen and abide the Force. I shall make it my intention to bring balance where there is none. I shall never hate anything or anyone. I shall protect those I disagree with. I shall fight for causes that are not my own. And I shall never stop another from walking a path that leads them to the light even if I could never understand how it would.
I shall never give up. Never surrender. Oops. <laughs> Wrong franchise. Or is it? Our blood. Ray, never be afraid of who you are. We've passed on the holy known. A thousand generations live in you now. This is your fight. Who are you? I'm right. Ray Skywalker.